Hey guys, what's going on? Chris here as always with Shughead Gaming and here's my review for Exorcist Legion VR, developed by Wolf and Wood Interactive and released on PSVR June 19th. This review is for episodes 1, 2, and 3, which all released at the same time on PSVR. They can be purchased individually for an estimated price of $7 each or as a season pass of all 5 episodes for $39. Of course, all prices are dependent on your region. The Exorcist Legion VR is a fully interactive episodic story set in the world created by horror maestro William Peter Blatty. Dwell deep into the heart of the supernatural as you learn the trade of demonic exorcism and uncover secrets leading you towards a final confrontation with your darkest, most hidden fears. The Exorcist Legion VR is part investigation, part exorcism, and all horror. Is your willpower strong enough, and is this game even worth your time and money? Let's find out. As always, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more PSVR content from me, you know the deal. Please consider subscribing. And for updates, hit that bell icon. As always, graphics are up first. Exorcist Legion VR is a very nice looking game pretty much across the board. In fact, it could very well be ranked as one of the best looking VR games in which you are walking around a realistically modeled world. This is easily on the same level graphically as something like The Impatient, and while maybe not as ambitious, it even gives the almighty Resident Evil 7 a run for its money when it comes to lighting and overall graphical sharpness. Lighting, particle, and shadow effects are brilliantly applied here and really work together to create a scary and daunting atmosphere that nails the immersion factor we all seek in our VR experiences. Textures are richly detailed and make you feel like you're walking and interacting in the real world. Like I mentioned previously, another area in which Exorcist shines is in its overall graphical fidelity. Everything is super sharp and free of jagged edges, with graphical fidelity being about as sharp as you can get on this current technology. This review was done on a Pro, and while this game does have Pro support, even a small drop in overall sharpness would still make this game a looker on the OG PlayStation. Some character animations lacked a bit of polish, which took me out a bit when they would show up, but all in all, this is a stunning graphical showcase across all three chapters. Sound is up next. Phenomenal and first rate are the words I would use to describe every aspect of the sound design in Exorcist Legion VR. Atmosphere and fear is what this game is going for, and the soundscape here absolutely nails it. Everything from the musical cues and the ambient sounds to the voice work and primary sound effects all work in conjunction brilliantly here. And combined with expertly used 3D audio, this game's sound design aims to make your skin crawl, and it nails it. It's the small things like the crackle of a baby monitor or the low building rumble in a church as you zero in on the demonic forces within. This can really make your hair stand up on end when playing, and this is reference VR audio for horror games moving forward. And now on to gameplay. I think I've established that this game nails the atmosphere both graphically and sound design wise. Unfortunately, gameplay here is where the game starts to show some faults. Everything here works just fine and it never hurts the game, it's just that there isn't a lot here. As I mentioned previously, there are currently three chapters available for the PSVR version of Exorcist Legion VR. Those are Exorcist Legion, Idle Hands, Skin Deep, and with the chapters Samaritan and Tomb coming later this year. Coming off as more VR exorcism experiences rather than a game, each chapter clocks in at around 25 minutes each. Each chapter will have you investigating a separate demonic crime scene. You will pick up objects and discover clues that in turn will move the narrative forward. At times, you will be required to use one or a few of your handy exorcist tools. And, well, that's the game. Short and sweet, at times underwhelming, and at times truly effective in its delivery of horror. 
All three of the current chapters explore different aspects of demonic possession and take place in different locales. All three are about the same quality, but with the first probably being the standout for horror fans. Your character can be controlled by either teleport or full locomotion with click and smooth turning options for both. The game can be controlled with either a DS4 controller or with two move controllers. This game was designed for the use of two motion controllers, so I would recommend using the moves. Controlling with the moves is basically like every other full locomotion VR game on the PSVR. So it works, but it's not ideal. Speaking of not ideal, when will Sony and developers stop baking in vision blinders into full locomotion games? At the time of this review, these cannot be turned off, and it greatly hurts the overall immersion and experience of this game. I understand some with motion sickness need this option, but for the majority of us long-term VR players, this is almost a deal breaker, and it should be required to have a disabled option present in all games. Okay, and rant. Tracking of hands is fantastic, and picking up and throwing objects as well as opening doors was first rate, and among actually some of the best for games such as these on PSVR. Anyway, all in all, this is a solid gameplay experience. Just emphasis on the experience. And that brings us to Fun Factor and my final verdict. So the question, is it scary, is likely a question you may have. A question that is highly subjective depending on the player. If you found games like Resident Evil 7, Paranormal Activity, or Don't Knock Twice scary, then, then yes, maybe this will make you shit your pants. However, the horror here is much more in the atmosphere and much less in actual things happening to you. I won't lie, this game gave me the chills on more than one occasion, and that's not an easy thing to do. Regardless of your answer to that question, this game plays well and it looks and sounds amazing, but it's really short and a bit on the pricey side for what you get. As you know, I rate games on a scale of buy, wait for a sale, or burn it to the ground. Guys, this is a tough one as there's a lot to like here, but this is a wait for a sale. For the whole five chapter set, you're basically paying $35 to $40 for two and a half hours of gameplay with basically zero replay factor outside of putting your friends throughout the chapters again. This is a definite play for me, but with the baked in blinders at this point, and the fact that this game is over 25% cheaper on PC VR, so we're basically getting screwed on PSVR, I say wait for a sale before you venture into the Exorcist Legion VR. Anyways guys, that's it for me. If you like this video, hit that like button, and if you want to see more PSVR content from me, you know the deal, please consider subscribing, and for updates, hit that bell icon. I still got a few more videos coming this week, guys, so stay tuned for my next video.